Hey guys and welcome to the start of a new weekly reading vlog. It's currently Monday and I've got my new prompts for the Magical Readathon which are when I look it up again because I have semi-forgotten. I've got the prompts of from the mundane to the magical read an urban fantasy and then I've also got to buddy read a book or read a book that has been picked by a book club of my choice and what I'm going to read for this is first The Devouring Grey which is for the urban fantasy and then I'm also going to be reading The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet which was done by Read Rate Review a couple of months ago if I remember rightly but in saying that I may change this up if The Devouring Grey has been at one point a book club pick. I have a feeling it may have been at some point by one of the book clubs. I don't know, I don't follow the book clubs that well. If so, I will be reading this instead for the book club pick and then I'll be reading the last few pages of the Unbound for the um, Urban Fantasy prompt because quite frankly I've got about three days this week to read two books and it's just probably not going to happen quite frankly. So yeah. I may have four days, but I've probably got three days, and by three days I mean two and a half days, so that's fun, because this week is another busy week, because this week I'm off to Stranger Things Secret Cinema, which is incredibly exciting, I cannot wait to be a part of Stranger Things and go and see it, I'm a bit nervy, I'm not gonna lie, because I've never been before, but I've seen a lot of reviews now, and a lot of things telling me how it works, so I'm a little bit more calm about it but I'm still a bit worried but I'm always worried about absolutely everything so it should be fine it should be fine it's stranger things it's not like it's gonna be an awful experience hopefully hopefully I don't know how scary it's gonna be but I'm worrying myself unnecessarily essentially I'm going to be reading at least the devouring grey this week put it that way at the very least I'm reading the devouring grey because this is supposed to be a bit stranger thingsy so that's why I want to read it this week anyway, and then I'll just see if actually this one is a book club pick, and if it is, I'll change it to the Unbound for the Urban Fantasy. If not, I'm going to have to try and read this in the evenings, but who knows? But right now, though, I do have to edit last week's vlog. I've also got to pick up the train tickets as well for Wednesday, because I'm going to Strange Things on Wednesday, and it's cheaper, obviously, to get them a couple of days early, so I've got to do that today. And then I've got to start reading, so let's get on with this week. So I've ma managed to have a bit of a productive morning, I don't know if you can hear that outside though. There is two sets of construction works literally on my road, which is slightly ridiculous, but I'll have to ignore it. Anyway, so this morning I've managed to edit vi a video for last week's vlog and I've managed to get it uploading. I've just done the thumbnail as well. I've also done a bit of research. It turns out The Devouring Grey has been used as a book club for several people um, like in real life in London and places like that. So I can read this as my book club pick, which means I can finish off my unbound copy well, the copy of the Unbound, and I've only got about 120 pages left. I can finish this as my urban fantasy, because this is an urban fantasy. Yes! Which means I don't have to read The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, which is another, like, 200 pages on top of what this is combined with this, which means I don't have to worry so much, because I've only literally got about two and a half days to read both books, so it's fine. Like, I know I can go into next week to read these books, but... I don't want to. I want to read them now. So that's fun. I've also done a bit more research into 2020 reading challenges as well this morning. And yesterday I found out there's one all about reading Terry Pratchett books, aka Discworld. And I'm here for it. So I'm probably going to do that one. And I'm just having a look around to see if there's any others. I haven't seen any others. I have basically given up on doing Beat the Bat List like I was doing this year because I suddenly realised in about April time that 90% of the books I read are backlist books so it's not even 90% it's more like 95% to be honest so there's no real point in me doing that because I don't really get caught up in reading all the new releases because I only really read the new releases the second I get them if I'm really excited for them if not they sit on my shelf for at least a year so that's fine so I've managed that as well and then I'm just having a look to see if there's a January readathon I want to do, but I'm thinking I may not because I don't know. I feel like just being free with what I want to read next year and just doing a few specific readathons. I don't know. 
I'm just having to think about it at the moment. I think I may try not to do a readathon every single month because I feel like while it sort of gives me more reasons to read books I wouldn't have picked up until like the end of the year or maybe the year after, I feel like I need to focus more on my priority books and stuff like this. So I may not do a readathon at the moment there's none that's been really grabbing my attention i don't know yet there may be one by the end of the month um announced i don't know but at the moment i'm unsure so i'm having a think about readathons at the moment but it's not going too badly the only thing is is that i haven't picked up either book yet but i wasn't expecting to this morning quite frankly because there's a lot going on so I mean, at least I've been productive so far, because I've got a whole load of stuff done, so yay. I just saw the new trailer for the new Ghostbusters film, and it doesn't look too bad. I wasn't a fan of the original Ghostbusters from the 80s, I'm not gonna lie. I did quite enjoy the 2016 reboot um, with all the women and Chris Hemsworth. That was really, really good fun, though it wasn't as good as I expected, but I've got high hopes for this one and because Finn Wolfhard is in it it's Stranger Things week I'm taking that as a sign that I need to start this before I start reading or at least finishing the Unbound so it's time to start this one I'm quite excited I'm a little bit nervous but I'm quite excited because obviously this one is quite sort of hyped at the moment so slightly worried but very excited let's get into it so far so i'm 58 pages in and so far so good i'm quite enjoying this it's quite creepy so far which i'm quite liking it's quite atmospheric and i quite like an atmospheric book it's also quite sort of weird in a way and quite mysterious because obviously i don't know everything that's going on i know a couple of things because i've obviously seen a couple of things thanks to various reading vlogs and reviews and wrap-ups for this book but i am still really really enjoying it it's giving me Stranger Things vibes, which I really, really wanted from this, and I'm quite excited to carry on with it. The only thing is, is that there is construction work, which ironically stopped making noise the second I started, like, talking, which is great, but there's been construction work and all the rest of it, which is a bit annoying, but yeah, it's quite intriguing. So far, so good. Okay, so it's now Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Why am I forgetting what day of the week it is? But it's Tuesday. Yesterday, I managed to get to page 166 of The Devouring Grey. So I am this much into it, which means I've only got something like... How many more pages left do I have? Right, so it's 389 pages. I'm 167 through, so I've got what? 221 pages left so that's not too bad i'm thinking considering it's currently only half 10 and i managed to read 166 pages last night in about three hours that i could possibly finish this today i'm going on the whole page a minute thing so if i did that that would be what three four hours so i may be able to actually finish this maybe today i'm hoping because quite frankly i need to spend tomorrow morning when i'm not hoovering dusting tidying up and also um filming a new video to finish off the dark vault because otherwise that is not getting read this week because i'm running around all over the place from wednesday onwards so yeah i kind of need to finish this so then i can finish the last 120 pages of the dark vault and then i'm done for chapter two because quite frankly Wednesday afternoon, I'm travelling into London and going to Stranger Things. Thursday, I've got no idea what I'm doing. And Friday, I don't know what I'm doing. Saturday, I don't know what I'm doing. And Sunday is time for the new prompt. So, it's a bit nuts. I don't actually know if I'll film anything past uh, Wednesday, to be honest, this week. I don't know, because we're supposed to be going to the cinema and maybe doing some shopping. But that's not really interesting and I probably won't be reading much. So, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. But, either way... This is hopefully going to get read along with the Dark Vault and then I'll be happy. So, 
Yeah, let's see how this goes. I've also, for some reason, done another quick check on the whole January readathon thing. And for some reason, I'm still thinking about doing a January readathon. And I'm just like, I just promised myself that I was going to calm down a bit on the readathon front. And yeah, I'm sitting here going, oh, what readathons are happening in January? And obsessively checking to see if a new one's been like announced or something. And I'm just like, why am I doing this to myself? I want, like, I don't know at the moment because I'm like, yeah, readathons are fun and they really help sort of sort out what I'm going to read in each month so I'm not just randomly picking because it gives me obviously prompts to go with. But at the same time, it stresses me out a little and I'm like, I feel like I have to read to the exclusion of everything else so I can get all the prompts done. I don't like that and yet I'm still looking and I'm still looking at reading challenges and stuff like this and I'm like I need to stop but I can't and it's it's one of those catch-22 things so I either need to stop taking reading uh, like reading thon uh, readathons I can't even talk I need to stop taking readathons so seriously apart from say the Winter Quest and the Magical Readathon, because they're the two I really go hard on, and obviously the Explorathon as well, which I utterly failed, quite frankly, at this year, but never mind. Like, I could take those three seriously, and then I can maybe relax on the rest of them, or maybe not go so hard on them, I don't know. But I'm just having this moment of just trying to figure out what is best for me, because obviously I've got a ton of fan fiction left on like AO3 that I haven't read yet and I've got like seven pages on the watch later bit and that's not including the series I've got saved in my browser and the rest of the stuff I've got on Reckless that I haven't gone through yet I just really want to get through some of that quite frankly I really want to get through some of that and I just haven't got the time I want to write again and quite frankly I am taking a couple of weeks off after NaNoWriMo I am going to hold my hands up and say that but I don't want to get back into it again. But I feel like with readathons, I'm constantly going, no, I need to do the readathon. I can't read it. Like, I can't write anything. And it's a catch-22. So it's just one of those things where I don't know what I'm doing. Quite frankly, I've got to sort it out. Because obviously next month is literally January, January 2020. So I need to get onto this. And I need to figure out what I'm doing. Because readathons are fun. But they're also stressful. <laughs> When it comes to all the other things I've got to do, I'm not doing them because I'm too busy going, I need to read the book, I need to read the book. So it's a bit sort of all over the place. I've just got to basically get my mind together and realise that even if I don't complete all the prompts of the readathon, it's not the end of the world. You know, I think I just need to get that into my head and learn to chill the hell out, essentially. I just need to learn to chill quite frankly, but this is not getting the book read, quite frankly, and I think I'm just looking up readathons now just to, I don't know, stop myself reading? Here's the thing, I'm in the middle of a readathon and I'm putting off reading a book, maybe because I'm tired, but the point still stands, like, I am a weird catch-22 of, I need to read the book, but I also can't procrastinate reading the book to read fanfic, but I can also procrastinate reading the book looking up new challenges and readathons. I need to make up my damn mind, quite frankly. I need to make up my damn mind and figure out what I'm doing. It's just slightly ridiculous. I am ridiculous. I'm putting my hands up and saying it. I am ridiculous. I've just reached chapter 14, which is page 216. And there's one thing I've really noticed with this is that it seems like 90% of the characters are bisexual. And I have no problem with this. Usually bi rep is so rare. It's practically non-existent in books so I like the fact that there is bi rep but the fact is is that like basically everyone is bi in this and I'm a bit like isn't there any other sort of LGBTQIA plus character is there any asexuals is there any like gay people or lesbian people or is everyone just bi I don't know it just feels like everyone is bi and while I appreciate that level of rep because obviously bisexuality is rarely put into books it's a bit weird that everyone seems to be bi you know but there's one disabled character everyone's bi but there's barely any poc it's 
weird. Personally, I would have liked to have seen a lot more POC characters in this, and I really... I've got something in my eye, which is really annoying. I really would have also liked to have heard more about Harper's arm, because we keep on getting the fact that she lost her arm, but it doesn't really go into how that affected her life physically sort of like did did she struggle with balance issues for a while how did she learn to cope with just one hand and stuff like this it's never really gone into and stuff like that i feel like would have been really really interesting to read about like i appreciate the fact that there is disabled rep in here because again disability is barely put in books especially fantasy books of any kind so i appreciate that but i would have liked a bit more detail in it i think so I just finished The Devouring Grey, and I quite enjoyed myself, I have to admit, but there's something that didn't quite click with me. I felt like a few things could have been a bit better explained in places, I guess. It felt like things sort of happened a bit too quickly, and too much time was spent in the build-up, I think. I don't know. I'm having trouble sort of figuring out exactly what was different about it that I couldn't quite connect to. I I don't know. I'm having problems connecting to books at the moment. I think I think that may just be my problem, but this was reasonably enjoyable. I had a good time. The mystery was quite good. I quite liked the plot twisty bits of it. But I think at the moment this is just gonna be a three star read, but I don't know. I'm having a proper don't know moment. Definitely having a proper don't know moment. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know anymore. I know nothing. Essentially, I know nothing. So it's Wednesday now and I am quite busy today, I've got to admit, because tonight is Stranger Things. But before we go to Stranger Things, I've got to hoover up, tidy up, dust downstairs, dust my room, because my room is, quite frankly, in desperate need of dusting at this point. I've got to then shower, get changed, and get ready for tonight and i've also got to try and film a video so that's fun i've already got my video planned it's my 2020 most anticipated releases so i've got it all there with all the notes and everything i've just got to film it but i want to obviously shower first so i've got to over up and all the rest of it before i can shower and it's just a bit mad because while i'm doing that i'm sitting here considering making a tbr game i've been sort of thinking about it for a while now i have to admit and so I've seen all these TBR games and all the rest of it, and it sounds like fun, and I keep on thinking about doing possibly like a Magic the Gathering chooses my TBR, because I've got a whole load of Magic the Gathering cards now, because I got the starter pack at Yauk slash Comic Con this year, so I'm kind of thinking it may be an idea to make a TBR game out of that so I can learn the cards better, so I'm trying to figure that out while I'm like sitting here like procrastinating cleaning and it's all over the place i'm not gonna lie so now i should probably you know get on and actually do the hovering and the tidying and all the rest of it so then i can shower and film my video because i need to film my video because i have no time to do it tomorrow or friday so it's all over the place today to say the least so i should probably get on and stop procrastinating and thinking about magic the gathering chooses my tbr because i can decide that later on you know, I can do that in a couple of days' time when I've got a bit more time. Today, I do not have time to be sitting here going, Oh, should I make a TBR game? I need to stop, essentially. I need to stop and I need to get on with getting on, essentially. If Especially if I want any time at all to see if I could possibly read a chapter or two of The Dark Vault. But I've given up on that entirely. So I need to get on. I've got like three hours. Yeah, I've got three hours to get everything done. I don't know if I'm going to get it all done, but I'm going to try. At some point today is going to go my way. Just not right now. Because I have already managed to lose everything off of the mantelpiece. Because it just won't stay on the mantelpiece. So it just kept on falling off as I dusted it. So I've given up. I've also had the shower door break on me while I was in the shower. So we've now just got like a wet floor after a shower now and we don't have a bath so it's our only option i also now can't find my chains which i was going to wear on my trousers today because i'm going as a punk to stranger things and i can now can't find them despite the fact that they haven't moved from the same box for about four years now they're now not in the box or any other boxes i can find and trying to find it i've managed to cut my finger and my hair dryer broke today 
it now just blows out cold air instead of hot air. So, that's just... I cannot believe today. I cannot believe today. And I'm just getting very annoyed, quite frankly. So, I'm just hoping that this afternoon is going to go better. And the rest of the week is going to go... It, like go better i mean hopefully i'm gonna get some decent sleep over the next couple of days so that'd be nice i don't know if i'm gonna be able to finish the dark vault i just have no idea if i'm gonna make be able to finish that and hopefully we'll be able to fix a couple of things but quite frankly no idea i'm just annoyed really annoyed right now and i need to calm down i know i need to calm down but when things successively just go wrong it's very hard to stay calm. Okay, so it's now Saturday and I have done nothing over the last few days. I haven't written anything, I haven't read anything, and clearly I haven't filmed anything because it's been a couple of hectic days. I had Stranger Things, obviously, and I had a good time at Stranger Things, I have to say. I was a little sort of nervy and a bit stressed about halfway through because it wasn't really clear to, like, made clear to us what we had to do next after we'd done a bit of our mission so that was a bit of a bummer and it was just a tad bit too crowded after a while i have to admit which sort of stressed me out and there was a couple of bits that were a tad bit too loud for me but i still did have a good time i had a great time actually it was great seeing friends again and just sort of hanging out and being in the world of stranger things i really really enjoyed that then on thursday we basically had a really lazy day because quite frankly we needed one then Friday we were running around town and watching Knives Out, which is a great film by the way. I didn't see that plot twist ending, so I really enjoyed the ending and the film itself. It was quite funny, quite sort of who done it, which was fun. And now it's Saturday, and I still haven't filmed a video at all, and I still haven't finished the Dark Vault yet. So today is going really well. Like this week is going really well. So it's now Monday, so it's time to wrap up this reading vlog, and I'm not going to lie, the only thing I managed to read was The Devouring Grey. I was supposed to also finish off The Dark Vault, but quite frankly I read one chapter of that after I finished this, because Wednesday was Stranger Things, um, which was quite fun. I have to admit, I preferred The Sherlock Escape Room, I'm not going to lie. But Secret Cinema was quite fun, it was a bit too loud for me, and a bit too crowded for me to fully enjoy myself, and I was a bit confused as to... Where the hell we were supposed to be going, it got a bit confused in the middle. But the ending show was really, really good. And the sets and everything was really, really good. So in that sense, it was a good time. But I think it could have been better for me in a couple of places, but never mind. And then Thursday and Friday were just bad mental health days. If you live in England, you'll know exactly why Friday was a bad mental health day. And then Saturday and Sunday, I was just running around all over the place. But... In better news, I did have a really cute goth boy tell me I looked awesome on Friday, which was quite nice because I was having a bad day. And then he just said that, which was really, really nice. And he was just random in the middle of a shop. And I was just like, wow, you're quite cute, <laughs> which was quite fun. And nobody's ever said that to me before. And he was a complete stranger, so that was epic. Also, on top of that, I did manage to see Knives Out this week. That was quite good. I didn't see the plot twist in the end, so that was quite fun. I wasn't sure at the beginning of the film but as it went on it got better and better and better and i still really really enjoyed it and apart from that i just managed to read the devouring gray and do absolutely sod all nothing else so it hasn't been too bad of a week this i gave three stars to in the end because it did disappoint me a little bit i have to admit because it felt like things happened a bit too quickly at the end i guess i don't know there was something sort of missing from this for me personally but that could have just been my mood this week because it hasn't just been a good mental health week i'm not gonna lie so it could have just been me but i still did enjoy myself and i gave it three stars and apart from that that's all i've really done this week so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give me a thumbs up comment down below with what you read this week and what you did this week i'd love to know i'll also leave a link down below to all my social media if you want to check out and if you want to see any more of my videos please click subscribe here and over here with the link to my previous video. But until next time, guys, bye.